Hello again and welcome to another edition of Rock Icons, the show where we talk to the celebrities of the 80s. I'm your host, Loomis Cletus, and tonight's guest is Tesco V of the Meatmen. Tesco, welcome. Hey, that guy backstage said I could have a yoo-hoo and the dish of a secretary in the outer office. I mean, is that overkill or what? Did she drop strawberries down her top or is that AC up too high? And those black seam stockings and that pink leather miniskirt, man, what I'd like to do to her. Man, you're some sort of a character, Mr. Tesco. So, give us a little bit of background on the band. You know, I was like so tripped out, I had this dream last night, I was like in this hot tub with Dolly Parton, Charo, you know, a little Gucci Gucci action, Phyllis Davis, who was like, of course, Dan Tana's secretary on Vegas, and Ignatius the Blonde from ABBA. And anyway, like, Charo was working a mean upper colonic on me with a slow gin Galliano blend, Phyllis is firing up a bowl of Thai stick, and then Dolly comes swimming toward me, and I mean, we're talking like PT-109 and PT-110, wamba wamba, I say jump back Jack, and then the next thing I know, it's like Ricardo Montalban is coming up to me saying, Tuz go be. This is your bum to see. And then I, like, wake up and my shorts are, like, crazy glued to my abdomen. Uh, okay, well, that's interesting. How did the association with the two former members of Meyer Threat come about? Does that USA for Africa thing make you want to blow tiger chunks or what? A bunch of self-serving, patronizing, overpaid, bloated mofos who want to make themselves feel good. If they're so damn concerned, why don't they donate some of their own coinage, buy a few planes <laughs> full of grain, and blast them over to these starving people, man? You think Joan Collins swallows? I don't know. L let's get to a question that you can answer uh, of some interest to our fans. How old are you? You know, as far as inspirations, I'd have to say, like, MC5, uh, The Fugs, um, uh, Crime, Blue Cheer, and, of course, ABBA. And uh, Too Many Acid Trips, 29 to be exact. Acid Trips? N no, years of age. Well... What do you do for fun, Desco? I go belly blitzing on my mad mofo muscle bike WFO. It's like two choice, a godlike experience, if you will. The thought that at any instant I could buy the farm in a spectacular fireball, well, that gives me a stiffy. Okay, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for tonight. Any parting words for your fans? Yeah, if any of you morons got a mom that looks like candy samples, don't be holding out. I mean, give me a call, give me your address, and everybody who wants to be like ultra cool and way happening will buy our new LP War of the Superbikes. And like write to us, buy all the cool stuff we have for sale. And if any of you girls like want to send Polaroids to yourselves in bathing suits or nuded out totally, which is even better, send them care of me, Tesco V and the Meat Men, Box 25305, Washington, D.C., 2007 for a personal reply and a pair of my used badly skidded BVD. Okay, this is Loomis Cleus once again from Rock Icons. That's all the time we have for tonight. But next week we'll be back with Julian Lennon, who's just released his Julian new album, Lennon. A Lot. You think if the guy's name was Arnold Zergundowitz, he'd be a star? No way, man.